Welcome to Medscape Morning Report. When it comes to LDL cholesterol levels, how low should we go? Do patients who already have low levels benefit from further reductions in LDL? This was addressed in a recent meta-analysis of randomized control trials. It examined the cardiovascular outcomes of further lowering LDL levels with either a statin or non-statin drug. They found a consistent clinical benefit from lowering LDL even further in patients with baseline LDL levels as low as 63. Overall, for each 38.7 reduction in LDL, there was a 21% reduction in relative risk for major vascular events. And it appears to be safe. Driving the LDL down didn't increase the risks for myalgia or myopathy, new onset diabetes, hemorrhagic stroke, or cancer. The results were similar for statins, azetamib, and PCSK9 inhibitors. Of note, the PCSK9 inhibitors are so new, we don't have long-term safety data on them yet. From this research, we can conclude that lowering LDL is a main driver that results in clinical benefit. But we'll need to wait and see how this impacts future guidelines for reducing cardiovascular risk.